going to be able to do it. Remember, it's not about the shots you don't take. Wait, <laughs> oh, this is it. Yeah, this is it. And this has historically been a really, really rough match for Anthony. I mean, to be completely honest, I think the hard part about this matchup is running into Vega, running away from him. So, like, as long as you calm down on, like, say, whiffing a dash punch or whatever, you can mix up Vega because, you know, these dash punches are safe on block mm -hmm. and your pressure's pretty good. But this mid screen, oh, I hate the mid screen. Yeah. And in fact, last night at Turning the Butter, I believe Crackfiend did eliminate uh, uh, El Cubano Loco. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Look, look. Oh. But he didn't use Ball. No, of course not. He used Rolling. But right now, doing great. Oh, I would have liked to see an anti-air there, but the block is fine. He is winning by 80%. Those low fours are tearing him a little bit, but I think he's going to be fine. Wow. Oh, just eating the dash punch. Wow. And that was great play. That great was play. great. That's a great round for Crack Fiend there. And we'll see how El Cubano Loco adapts to that. Oh, wow. That full screen car grab attempt. I I'd like to think that that was a... <laughs> you see him? He did that so far, and he was like, please hit me. Oh, yeah. And he got punished. Oh, yeah. Sick. Um, <laughs> and see, this is a comfortable life lead. Uh, it's unfortunate, like, because he had... See, Boxer, when the, he doesn't have the life lead, the matchup's hard, because you're just trying to dash punch. Vega's walk speed's amazing. Mm -hmm. His neutral jump game is great. And then he also has the crouching strong, which can punish anything from borderline full screen. And now he has a cross-up? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Nice drop by El Cubano <laughs> Loco. I guess the entire. King of CTB. Own. Oh, oh, it's wow. not far enough. Was he trying to... Oh. He might have been. Wow. Oh, okay, here he comes. And he oh, got him. Oh, no. Yeah, way too high. That wasn't a true safe jump. Mm -hmm. After the sweep... You can kind of like, you wait and then you jump, but if you do anything, if you do any kind of hesitation, you're going to get blown yeah. up. It's unfortunate too, because he didn't have to do that specifically. He could have just done EX flip. Again. But you know, uh, props on him for being ready for that. Oh, and yeah. Punishing with the strongest thing he could punish. Yeah, with Ultra at the ready, he's just all over him. Mm -hmm. Oh, great punish. Yeah, and. Oh, oh okay, eating great. the jumping. Oh, what a missed opportunity. I feel bad about that. See, so as you know, Vega's like kind of flying away, right? If you hold tap in that scenario, you can wait and then tap over. It does allow you to be kind of vulnerable to a couple other things, but it looks like Marcos has like, uh, I just want to get out of there. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll see that adjustment from Crack Fiend. No coach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Crack Fiend will oh. again, though. Wow, and he, he gets away with two back dashes. And that is one of the reasons why Kraken will tell you he hates that match. Oh, yeah, but I mean, here it is. I, honestly, I think any matchup I've ever hated was the matchups where I couldn't play. Wow. I couldn't go full derp. Like, I, like it's like, oh, okay. Uh, Vega's better than me. <laughs> oh, and he oh, could no. have a bigger punisher, but instead gets punished. Oh, he misses the whiff punish and eats so much damage. And time is quickly running out. Only 20 seconds left in this match. Oh, see, oh. he's reading the backdash after every single EX dash punch. If he does it, he just waits. Oh, he caught him backdashing. Big damage. Am I a psychic? Am I a psychic? One time psychic. One time psychic. Psychic time hero. Psychic time <laughs> hero time. <laughs> you want one? Oh, sure, yeah. All right, and I, it was un a little unfortunate there for Crafty. He was playing so well, but just getting punished at the end for that back dash and losing that first set. El Cubano yeah. go going up one up. And again, um, really the, the source of damage I notice when I play Marcos is simply, you know, if you run it, you do a dash punch and you run into it. And you just saw it there with the focus. Um, he also, like, you know, he got a good read on that EX dash punch situation where he back dashed. And so, oh, wow, he went for it. Mm -hmm. Marcos is getting kind of bold. You know, after he gets a couple games, he gets, he gets kind of aggressive. Have yeah, you I, was just, that? I was just going to say, you know, he lost that, Crackpin lost that first set and kind of got El Cubano Loco going a little Yeah, bit. yeah, yeah. His engine's kind of revving up. I mean, as much as a Vega player can rev up, but essentially, you know, he's 
very aggressive. Like. Yeah, and, and it's it's almost as if he's gotten Crack being a little off his game right now. Yeah, yeah. But I think Crack being the type of player I believe that we can recover from this very easily. Wow, great punish. That was from so far, but still getting oh, the that punish. that cross up we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. That buff. And he goes for a counter hit. See, like now he's in his flow. He's in his like little KO pattern. Man, so close to potentially going down 2-0. Nice jump fierce. He does have a lot of a lot of, at his arsenal. He's got that meter. He's got that ultra. Oh, and El Cabana Loco misses the punish there, but. Oh, oh gets the, the red focus combos. That round else in the red focus. Oh yeah, the over it! Uh, taking a taking a note from Julio's book. That's right. Finishing just... around with an overhead and El Cubano logo that quickly goes up 2-0, and we're gonna see, I think, a character select, a character changer. From crack. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, he's stuck no, I... with Wow. Yo. I mean, you told me, yeah, I didn't see the match yesterday, but you told me he beat He beat him, I mean, it was close, but he beat him, you know? Yeah, maybe he, he just has to do it this way. Because honestly, right, it's not really, it's not really Marcos that's beating him. I, I don't think that Crack, I think Crack would agree with me. Mm -hmm. I think Crack feels that all he has to do is make some adjustments, and he will win three straight. I mean, I've seen him do it before. Yeah, I mean, we saw that first set, how it started. He was going great. Just got a little off his game that second set. Did you, and did you see him at turning the, uh, not turning the, uh, the last B lead? He beat Marcos just outright. That's he, right. He even, I think he ended with a perfect. That's right. And so, um,. You know, for Marcos to pretty much watch that every single night while he cries <laughs> um, and then level up as a result, it's, it's clear that these adjustments are being he, he made. He ain't crying now. Oh, that's going to be it. And this is testament to not playing someone randomly at an arcade or a random tournament, but actually playing someone over several weeks in yes. the B League. Yes. And right now, El Cubano Loco on match point. <laughs> Wow, he goes for the cross-up. I mean, you know you're feeling yourself when you're going for the gimmick stuff with Vega. You might as well try, right? You're, yeah. up, you're on match point. You're up 2-0. And it would bother someone really bad. Exactly. And I really like the space control. Like, honestly, Vega doesn't have to do much, but he is. He's just, like, trying to get in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just walks oh, into this the This could be the party right? starter. Yeah, and it just gave Crackbean the lead right there. Oh, wow. what a bold move. Wow. Good reversal. Even if he tried to focus, it would have been cracked. Oh, sitting there now. Waiting for each other to make the move. And then, have you noticed one thing? I'm, I'm pretty sure this is uh, on purpose. Crackbean hasn't got hit by any car grabs. I feel like he's been just right outside the range where Marcos is unable to go to his favorite place. Mm -hmm. Gotta be Crackbean's gotta be really careful right now oh. about whipping any normal so he didn't get the anti-air there, but I'm sure oh. Oh. probably could have gotten oh, the combo again. Oh. oh he got it with a super oh, my God. and he takes it over Crackbean 3-0 and Crackbean is not happy. The pop-offs are real. Yep.